No, George, I'm so busy, I can't tell you. No, the fall line's doing very well. Yeah, tell me about it. No, no, it's a small, intimate wedding, family only. Look, I'll give you the full story and next week when I have more time. Yes, you have the exclusive, George, I promise. Look, I have to go. I'll talk to you later. Are the vultures circling? Yeah, well, the press wants a story. Gonna give it to them? After the wedding? Sure. Till then, I'm swamped. And is that what you want to talk to me about, the wedding? No, Steve's on his way. Oh, did he see Brooke? Yes, apparently he caught up with her at some nightclub out in Malibu the other night. I called him and told him that she was going to be there. Yeah, well, let's just hope he has something positive to report. Well, before he gets here, do I have time to go up to the house? Why, what's going on at the house? Well, Lauren's there, and I want to talk to her. Well, I guess that's going to have to wait. Steve, yeah, good. Good. Hello, Eric. Hi. I'm sorry Trish wasn't out there. Oh, no problem. No problem. That's some interesting... Ding, ding. Time to punch out. Hello there. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. You've been busy today. Oh, very. Your secretary just told me that you didn't eat lunch. Well, I'll have a big Christmas dinner. That's probably when I'll start having some time. What have you been doing? Working on a very special dress for a very special person. For Eric's wedding? Mm-hmm. So that's why you didn't eat lunch. That's why I haven't done much of anything, except cut, sew, and tack, and cut, and sew, oh, and tack. Oh, real hands-on stuff, huh? Yeah, a real labor of love. Mm. Mm, you shouldn't have. Oh, I'm about to be in big, big trouble. Mm, why? Mm. Because the dress is not for you. That's what you were thinking, isn't it? Whose dress is it? Another very special person. Bridget's. Disappointed? No, I'm not disappointed. Bridget's your daughter. I'm glad you made her a little dress. Can I see it? Yes. <gasps> oh, that is adorable. That's precious. <laughs> Oh, she'll love this. <laughs> Pint size, but I think it'll work. Yeah. Hey, why don't we take it over to her right now? No, you go ahead and take it to her. I'll go home and start dinner. Don't be late. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. I won't be late. And you... Thank you for being such a trooper. And you want to put them in? Want to put yours in? Mm -hmm. Okay, put it in through here. See? Like that? <gasps> oh, no, that could be. Oh, oh. oh. Who is it? It's the frozen yogurt man. Connor, come in. Oh, did I get you? How did you know it was me? Look what I got. Ice cream, otherwise known as frozen yogurt to you and me. Two kinds, the non-fat vanilla for the adults. Oh. And chocolate chip cookie monster <laughs> calorie loaded stuff for the kids. Oh, That's you and me. You want to see what's in this bag? What? You want to see what's in this bag? Yeah. What's that? A dinosaur. Oh. How Ooh, did you know he liked dinosaurs? You are talking to a gunslinging attorney, man. Oh. Fastest in the West. Nothing yeah. gets past him. <laughs> and this little one over here, I'll bet she likes bunny rabbit. I've got just the ticket. Hello, beautiful. Tricky. This is for you. Her Tricky. name is Fufu. Ever heard of that song? <laughs> Little rabbit Fufu hopping through the forest, picking Tricky. up the field mice. Oh, you have pushed me way too far, Laura. I haven't begun. Yes, you have, and you're finished. No, you're not. I was finished with Eric, with Brad, with me. I am right where I want you. Oh, yeah, let's just see where you have me, sweetie. Let's just see.
good enough, is it, what you did to me in Genoa City? What I did to you? Oh, you're gonna come out here, Lauren, huh? You're gonna destroy me? You deserve worse than what I'm gonna give you! You can't hurt me. You're no match. Not with men and not with children. Your own son even thinks I'm his mother. Yes, at that club, Bikini. Yeah, tell us what happened. Well, she was with a friend. Oh, was it Karen Spencer? Yes, that's right. I approached them, pretended not to know who Brooke was. It was all very loose, very casual. But she was in a bad mood. A bad mood about what? Well, I think your wife could probably tell you better than I. Upset with me. You don't seem surprised. No, we don't uh, get along very well. Well, if ever there was a time to bury the hatchet, Stephanie. I haven't been antagonistic toward Brooke. And I think you're going to have to do a lot better than being not antagonistic. If we want Brooke to be reasonable, we're going to have to be friendly with her. I'm afraid Eric's right. I know Eric is right, but there's a lot of bad blood between us, and it's just not going to disappear overnight. Stephanie, all I'm saying is that at some point, we may be negotiating with Brooke. Negotiating with her? Why? The belief formula is ours. That's true. But we want Brooke to agree. Yes, it is yours but she could potentially have a claim to the formula. And if she's upset with anybody at this company... Steve, it's very important that Brooke not know anything about this, at least until we've determined that she's in the right frame of mind. Eric, I couldn't agree more, but it's not going to be easy. Why do you say that? There's been a complication. Complication? You know this man? Who's that? His name's Connor Davis, and he's trouble. Chocolate, chocolate chip cookie frozen yogurt. Is this the best? Right? Yeah. Mmm. Good. Oh, mm. man. Let me taste mm. yours. <laughs> Please. What do you think? Should we let mom have a bite? Uh, apparently. Mmm. <laughs> like mm. it? Not bad, mm. huh? Mmm. Mmm. What are you doing? Mmm. <laughs> this is good. Mmm. <laughs> That's it. Did That's you good. see that? Huh? This is better did than Did you that. see what she did to me? I can't believe that your mother would do something like that. <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, my goodness. You stole my spoon. He's trying Give me to take your... my spoon. Here, you can have that spoon. I think your mom pulled a fast one. See? Both of you guys are giving me this non-fat stuff, and then he steals my spoon. What do you think I ought to do with this stuff? Hmm? Maybe he wants to try it. You want to switch? <laughs> you want to trade? You want this great... Yummy non-fat yogurt? No. No. Okay. You're smarter than I am. <laughs> I know. Let's give it to your sister. She'll eat anything. You wanna? Oh. Oops. She, she heard us talking about it. She's crying. Let me get her. Wait. You know how to pick up a baby? Do you believe she asked me that? No, oh, please. Help yourself. <laughs> I have more nieces and nephews under the age of two than I like to admit. Really? Yes, of course I can pick up a baby. Okay. Now, don't eat too much of that, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh. Oh. See? We're gonna pay some attention to you now. That's okay. Let me take the blanket. 
Here we go. Oh, you are so beautiful. The spitting image of your mother. I was just kidding about that frozen yogurt stuff. We weren't gonna force you to eat that yucky, non-fat stuff. No, only the high-octane stuff for you. The real thing. <laughs> Remember little rabbit foo foo? Down through the forest. Picking up the field mice. I'll get it. Popping them on. Ooh, she's a flirt, this one. Hello. Where'd you learn that? Huh? Rich? Well, who'd you expect? Aren't you gonna invite me in? Tomorrow you're gonna get behind bars. I'm gonna go tell them like everything! Everything! Davis. Brooks gone out with him a couple of times. But why is he so familiar to me? He played football against Ridge all through high school. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, they hated each other. <gasps> but how does Brooke know him? They both went to Sherman Oaks High School. What's the significance to all of this? He's an attorney now, a good attorney. Also quite ruthless. He has a reputation for going for the jugular. Just how close are he and Brooke? That I couldn't tell you. But I'll give it to you straight. This guy has a killer instinct. If he even gets a hint that there's a problem with the belief patent, he'll be all over it. And if you think we have problems now. Um, how close are Ridge and Brooke these days? Actually, they've been having problems. Well, I think for the sake of the company, they need to get a lot friendlier. Brooke has got to be brought back into the fold. And frankly, Stephanie, you and Ridge are the ones that have to do that. You are the two from whom she feels most distant. Stephanie everything. I have still Stephanie and Eric everything. <sighs> but she's not home. It's okay. 
I'll clean up first. What the hell is he doing here? I invited him here. Well, I invited him to put down my daughter. Mitch, will you stop it? You're acting like a child. May I come in? If you behave. Well, Forrester. Davis. She's a real peach, isn't she? Yes, she is. We were just getting better acquainted. Mm. This is where it stops. Ridge. I was just commenting on how pretty she was. She definitely takes after her mother. Still as slick as you were in high school, eh, Davis? Cardboard cutout, what a joke. Strong words coming from the tin man. Isn't that what we used to call you? Playing you guys. Boy, I missed that. Watching you get your bell rung was the highlight of my year. Yeah, I'll just bet it was. Look, will you guys just stop it, please? Connor, will you take Eric Jr. into the nursery? I have to have a word with Rich. Absolutely. Come with me, champ. Let's go look at a book, okay? Okay. Here we go. We gotta unbuckle your seatbelt. Here we go. Ooh. Say bye to Mom. Bye-bye, Mom. All right. Ridge, this man is very important to me. You better get used to it. I don't want him around my daughter. Period. Well, this is the way it's going to be. You have until after your father's wedding to make up your mind whether or not you're going to change this situation. I want you, Ridge. And you want us. You can keep this family together. You can come through for this family. It's all up to you. Thanks very much. I appreciate you coming. We'll be in touch. Steve's pretty worried, you know. Well, I think he has a right to be. Stephanie, you have to start coming through for us. Eric. You have to at least coexist with her. Oh, the thought of being pleasant to Brooke. The future of this company is at stake, quite literally. You can count on me. You know I will do what I have to. Good. <gasps> I had no idea it was this late. I've got to get home. What's the big deal about getting home to see Lauren? Well, you'll know soon enough. I will. Eric, I promised you that I would not interfere in your life, and I won't. But some things are going to start happening. What things? I have to leave. I'll, I'll talk to you later. again. Neither will Eric. None of us will. 